podcast. The Babyface, that's a Nige. Looking kind of smooth in the brown. I see. Thank you. Shout out Drama. Mm-hmm. My Cute. boy Charlie. Shout everyone's, out got, everyone's getting close, isn't it? What can I say, bro? Be nice. And <coughs> Mr. Trap God himself. Yep. The Wave. Mm-hmm. Green. Must Come on. Nice. Santo Money Amo. Green. Money New Green. New Joints. Yeah. Shout out Messi for the fishy top. Love, bro. Mm. Yeah, because. Bear music's been out, though. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Before that, what have you been saying, man? How you been? I'm all right, you know. Been a bit down. Yeah. Yeah. Ill, but we're back now. You've been ill recently. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying, man? Health is worth now. Back at the gym, you know. <coughs> Getting them gains. Gains, <coughs> you know. Gains are us.com. So hey. What's back. your what's your target for gym? Like what, at the what? moment, shredding and then at next year, bulk up like, you know, my car on on our big calves. You already got big calves. <laughs> 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 the biggest calves. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the biggest. I want like, like Jack Grealish. <laughs> yeah, like I want <laughs> How you know Jack Grealish's cars are big? Bro, what do you mean, fam? He wears, like, low socks, you can see. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, well, um, because I've started going to gym as well. Mm. But my thing's more for kind of fitness. I want to get a bit a bit toned up, though. But yeah, you're not unfit fitness. still. I'm you're unfit, bro. Drive and produce and that. You yeah. don't do no physical activity. I used to play football, fam. I don't play football anymore, though. I was car, saying car. Some people don't yeah, invite everyone, me to yeah, football. Yeah, you were, and you were. Some people don't invite me to football. Yeah, yeah it's mad still. It's yeah. mad, isn't it's it, Madge? Yeah, crazy. 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 Do you know what it is? I don't want to ruin your day, bro. That's what it comes down to. I'm actually sick at football. He's got two left feet. Leaves him. I've seen Nudge play. You yeah, haven't. You're a strong tight Bramble. No, I'm a I'm a young Ian Wright. Wow. That's me still. Big statements. It's crazy. No, I'm actually sick at football. I swear down. Anyone invite me football and you'll see what's going on. Nah, we, we need we need we need a little seven aside thing. Everyone's on it. Everyone's talking. Yeah, I'm on the producer seven aside. I'm on that still. I think MK and that's been doing one. Yeah. They've been going football, but. I think it's in like Stratford side or something yeah. or East or whatever the weather. I'm on it though. Mm. But what you been saying? Music. Mm. No, it's been a good season for Tuna Q, innit? But yeah. Everyone's yeah, trying yeah. and just doing nice. It's Must be nice, still. lads. Yeah, we're going in. That's why we ain't been as consistent as we kind of want to be, but we need to find like a balance, I think. It's kind of hard, innit? Yeah. Because it's like, if man ain't got a session, you would have a session. Yeah. Or if I ain't got a session, you've got a session. Or then someone yeah. has a show. Or someone's someone got a show. I just got modelling for GQ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get me? Right. For Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You support Arsenal, yeah? No, I don't. I support Manchester City. Manchester City. That is mighty. Do you that know what? I might even switch to Newcastle still. Hey, Newcastle, the now money. Now follow the now. money. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn mad, didn't it? Crazy. Crazy. I can't. Oh, do you know what it is? Yeah. I just can't see Newcastle being that team, though. Like, you see how we saw Man City kind of building up, yeah? Mm-hmm. I can't remember. You see back then when Man City got bought out, did you ever think Man City would be the team they are today? Yeah, because am I just not rating Newcastle? No, but Man City used to be, they used to get beaten every week. Like, no, six because of the City of Manchester, you can always see it. Manchester, I've not been Newcastle yet, so Newcastle fans don't, don't get on me. But Man- Newcastle's a one club city, though. Yeah, I heard so that everyone in Newcastle supports Newcastle. You support Newcastle, you don't. Yeah, you get me, that's it. It's mad store. I do it though, but who they gonna sign? Who's, who wants to go to Newcastle? Bro, bro you'd be surprised. Guy, the owner is the king of um, Saudi Arabia, bro. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like, cool. When if you tell done, anyone, I got a, I got two M a week for you. <laughs> go into it's football. a process though, isn't it? Because <laughs> obviously, remember when uh, United, um, when City got bought out, they started <coughs> off with like Robinho, yeah, like um Steven Island and then Manley, yeah. and then now they've built up to the point where they can get like it's anything in the world. Isn't it? And now they, the quality is yeah. high. But I've seen mad houses in Manchester. I just feel like Newcastle, what is there? Bro. Oh, Newcastle used to challenge for the, the, the yeah, league. Yeah, bro, like Shearer times, times, bro. Time, You're kind of like, Blackburn, Newcastle ain't got history. Newcastle like, oh, boy. Come on, bro. Yeah, Newcastle got history. That's so. when you was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's when you were like, 30. <laughs> <laughs> listen, the fact that you don't know about Shearer shows your age. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, he's like 30, you know. I'm 25. So. <laughs> I hear you, though. <laughs> I'm 25. What are you saying, though? <laughs> Other than that, I think, yeah, Newcastle, good luck to them, innit? I think it'll be two years strong process, but. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like a five, ten year plan still, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. But yeah, by I the time, fuck, you know, you reach that, <laughs> that centenary year. <laughs> the haters, yeah? We're on to now, we're on to you know. You know what it is? I get it. Jesus had haters. I have haters too. You know what it is? Well, did you know Jesus? Huh? No? Oh. <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> 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 Your uncle's flipping um, Pele. Uh, Pele, huh? I'll take that. Uncle, uncle. Aye, music though, yeah. yeah. Oh, Potter, top yes, ten. Top Nige, 10. well done, shout mate. Shout out, Quincy, top ten. Come on, top <laughs> ten. Nice. Fabulous, fabulous. Must be fabulous. Nice. Yeah. Even separately though, Potter going top ten twice is six though. Yeah. What's the tape? What album? 
This, this was, was a, a tape. Tape, yeah. I don't think he's had an album. Yeah, he had an album. Yeah, two Training tapes. Day 3 was a tape. Training Day 3 was number three, innit? Yeah. It's mad still. It's been a tough week as well, to be honest. Last yeah. couple weeks was now, now the, the big boys are out. Oh, listen. Let me Adele. tell you something. You see right now, <laughs> no one Do is touching that number music. one yes, for at least... Christmas, even yeah, Christmas, some Christmas Mariah Carey is gonna drop or something. Yeah, yeah. Or she yeah. might drop something. Else. Eighteen million in nine hours, bro. Let Adele me check. Is it. the truth. Uh, you know gonna be. Christmas. I heard um, Ed's gonna drop this year as well. So that will be a good. Well, I assume Ed's that's gonna, gonna be a heavyweight that'll battle. Be a good it? like challenge. To, who do you think would outsell though? I was having this argument Adele today. Is Adele, Adele, you know, Adele is Adele Ed Sheeran really is. Nah, Ed, Ed Sheeran's massive, but true. Adele is. Bro, fourteen hours, twenty-two million views. She's, she's on real drill. That's real drillings. Yeah, Adele yeah, is drill. The, um, I haven't even heard it yet. Imagine that. And because um, uh, yeah, my mind blank still. No, Adele's mad, bro. No, you didn't Ed Sheeran. That's why. I heard that Adele's yeah, never done um, never done features. She hasn't got no features. Sorry, because Adele's been wait- we've been waiting for five years as well. It's been yeah, anticipation. since twenty five, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, literally. literally. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was gonna say. Might as well do a song with Nines and just try it down then. She done twenty one, twenty five, and thirty. Yeah. This is f- the new one, thirty. And nineteen was the first one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's killing it. That's but actually a sick like catalog. Yeah. Like when she's all done with music, her album's literally gonna be in like chronological order of not like follows her life, nineteen, isn't it? twenty one. Yeah, that is sick. Fam. That's, that's like Ed, isn't it? Ed does the same. Well, Ed does like plus more because Yeah, the the yeah. yeah. Ed, I don't know. Do you know, there's a shift in music now because Ed's been number one for like. 15 in, weeks yeah, or something. Dumb. 15 Man weeks. done it. He's Crazy. been at number one so long, he literally said, listen, I'm done with number one. Yeah, he's Give it to Elton for a week. <laughs> because if Elton don't get it this week, just know Adele's rubbing it up. No, and, that's, and you know what's mad as well? This, week, this is actually Elton John. This is not like a small fish. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But the song isn't like a fresh song though. Like some guy made a beat um, and he used like an old Elton John song called Sacrifice. Oh, okay. And then he put Dua Lipa's. He basically made like a house song yeah, out sure. of old thing. songs, isn't it? It's Fugazi, that yeah. song's sick, though, bro. Sick, yeah. But to be honest, sick. Elton John's massive, but Adele's out as well. Yeah, Adele's no, Adele gone out. Yeah, she's she's out of here, bro. Water. That's her YouTube views. So she was going to be dumb. That's crazy. As a producer, though, yeah, I just think like, bro, man puts bare time into like making shit sound sick and these men just sit by a piano or Ed by a guitar. And he's getting like a billion streams. It's mad, isn't it? No drums. <laughs> bro, <Bruh>, he's <laughs> taking a piss, you know. <laughs> no That's chain, a nothing. different level of music, you know. <laughs> it's mad. It's yeah. powerful. The writing's mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all it is. The writing's mad. Because, like, remember when everyone was sampling um, Hometown to do their, their, their yeah. rap? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Best yeah. one, DVS. Yeah, yeah. You better Sneak Bowls on, yeah? Best one's DVS, 100, bro. Okay, okay. There's a few ones. Is, is Sneak Bowls your favourite one, yeah? I think a lot of people got their own favourite one. I should say. You know what? That, that, that we, I feel like we got an episode seen on, on the top ten freestyles of the UK. Like we yeah, we should do that. We, we could do that with that. a guest. Yeah, we have gotta yeah, break it down bars yeah. wise because that hometown beat. I know this one's gonna get sampled straight away. Mm. There's, a, there's a producer in the room right now sampling. Yeah, well, in, immediately it's gonna be a draw song. Yeah, Delta immediate going on right now. Will it get cleared? Is the next question. Yeah, yeah probably not. Know, From Tottenham, you know, you never know. Yeah, to be fair, you're right. Adele, bro, I swear down. The thing that's sick about Adele and even Ed Sheeran, yeah, they're so like. UK, yeah, mm. that like, bro, like Ed Sheeran. Did you see that thing the other day, yeah, where like he's um he's re- someone done some remix to Shape of You, some Jamaican girl, yeah. and like he literally knows all the words, but the woman's talking about like her boyfriend eating her pussy out. And, like, mad thing, bro. What? It's mad. What? Mad yeah. Thing. Yamaha. Yeah. <laughs> what do no, you mean Yamaha? I saw. Um, I saw the interview. He's not the one. One extra. Yeah, he's one extra. Yeah. Man. And he's just, yeah, he's down to Like, they're so in tune with what's going yeah, he's, on. He seems like a normal guy, too. Adele, yeah. another one. Like, she's bare in tune. With, she's got pictures, like, cussing someone out on the gun thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, she's remember, so remember. grease, fam. No, but they're really London people. Yeah, yeah, bro. They're really London people. I always wonder what, you see, when they're at that level, yeah, what do you do in your spare time, like? Honestly, fam. Must be mad, innit? Try and be normal. Try and stay, like, not seen, innit? I guess. Ed's, Ed's got a pub or whatever. Why don't he just have to do normal shit? But he owns his own pub? Yeah. He's just to stuff. You think Shit. Adele, um, you think if Adele goes on the road, she'll be mobbed? Yeah. Do you know what's mad, yeah? I reckon people wouldn't, um... Bother her like that. People wouldn't, people might not think it's her. Like, you see, like, if you just saw her walking down the street, you'd be like, you oh, she looks like, like Adele. You're not yeah. going to think, oh, it's actually Adele. Because so yeah, she's not like a, she's like, young thug or something with, like, mm, pink that's hair That's what and I'm that, saying, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, she's not like a, she's a star. Yeah. But I don't think she's like a like when you look at her, you don't think, oh like right, let me run to her. Unless you're like a massive fan. But yeah. do you know what? what do I know? She's yeah, doing yeah. eighteen million in ten. I think it hours. Depends, yeah, depends on the area she goes depends to. Depends on the area, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Like she's in West End and it's tourism. Like I reckon she could walk down um Bond Street on a calm one. 
Nah, you don't think so? Not. If them tourists see her, it's yeah. going off. But if they see her though, but I think if she just if she's a little hoodie she on, she can go down haze. Past true. Bro, I saw Rio Ferdinand like two weeks ago in East, and I was like, I'm gonna ask if I'm like, you know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna see everywhere. Okay, okay. Fair don't enough. lie, man. You were like Rio. Rio. Nah, this is on my page. Rio. I said, yo, yo, I'm asking for an Alexa. Ha ha He was a little cheeky like that. He was a cheeky little. <laughs> Have you ever been starstruck? Um, yes. Have you? Yeah. yeah. When I met Thierry on Reef. Uh, is it? Yeah. It was, was that recently? Yeah, like a couple months ago. Yeah, check yeah, it on my yeah. gram, by the way. At yeah, Madge. go check what out my just gram. No, no, that was at a show, bro. But that was serious. Still, that's when. Yeah, I don't really s- get starstruck for art, like uh, musicians, but footballers is different to me, anyway. Who have you been starstruck by? Mm, I don't think no one yet, you know. Never in your life, no. sure. Elvis or something. I set myself up. It won't mind me. Bro, this is bad now. I don't think you know it is. <laughs> Frank brain. Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Jesus. <laughs> I don't think no one yet. I think I've seen people think, yo, like, I need to connect with you. I don't, I don't get Star Trek to me. <laughs> nah, you just die. Yeah, nah. Uh, I don't, I don't, no one really yet. No one really yet. Maybe if I saw, nah, not even, nah, no one really. Mm. No one really. I just see man, I think, yo, I need to work with you. <coughs> I hear you. Yeah, I don't think I'd I hear be, you. Uh, I don't think I'd be. But not even like sporting people though. Maybe if I saw Messi. No, I saw Messi in Mickles Park. Messi came to the ends one time. That was mad. You're lying. So it's on YouTube. He came to the, he came to the, like, my ends. What? Like, everyone was going mad. <coughs> my name went to try and rob I him. think if I saw R9, <laughs> I'd be star shot. R9, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's your guy still. Yeah, R9's my favorite player of all time. What, CR7? Nah. He's your national hero. I know, but I wouldn't be starstruck if I saw him. I'd be like, raw, that's Ronaldo, but I wouldn't be like, raw. Like, R9, I'd be like, fuck. And Ronaldinho? Yeah. <coughs> and when he came to the ends in Western? Like, well, he Dion right now is looking, I wouldn't even be starstruck if I saw him. I'd be like, brother, do you need help? Who? Dion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's coming out of jail, man. He yeah. looks a mess now. Walks around in like sliders and that. <laughs> anyway, he goes. Too rich to care, innit? Yeah. I guess. Too rich? Because he's moving around in fake passports and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's moving mad. mad. I don't know what he's on. Music, hey, mm. back to music, yes, yeah. Separately, flipping, Heady Singh got a top forty. Yeah, yeah. Um, are we allowed to talk about label stuff? Yeah. Do you think this is Heady's last um tape before he's out of his label, isn't it? I think so. You know. I didn't know that, but yeah, yeah. I What's think he it is. He's done a few projects. He's done two albums, no tape. Yeah, he must be out. But labels now. call this like an album. Yeah. <coughs> so yes, I think this is either it or he's got one more to do. Maybe. I assume it's the last one. It's going to be three projects normally, most people. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, the, the reason I say that, because my point, like, my whole point, I want to get into the conversation of, like, independent artists, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, you see for an artist, an artist like Hedy, yeah, do you think, um, it's, like, do you think it's good for him to go independent? Like, do you think the label thing's done? Or do you think the independent route, because I see a lot of people talking about going the independent route, but unless you've got, like, a super core cool fan base, it's very, it's not easy, bro. Like, I think the transition is going to be tough because, um, you know, like, the only certified independent artist, yeah, is AJ, yeah? Maybe Central C as well. Like, who has done it, like, all consistently through, like, I ain't signed no deal ever. You Digger. know what I'm saying? Digger's independent. He's never signed I don't know, I think he, I don't know if he's I ever signed gets, a deal, I though. He, I think he gets label services. You know, yeah. Like, you like, get groundwork. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe Digger as well, but I mean, like, in terms of, like, uh, longevity who's never signed a deal ever he's the AJ. only person so I don't yeah. know how the transition I think the transition is going to be like not a shock but, but that's I what I'm saying you see like um, yeah probably I hear you mm. but you see like for AJ yeah like you said he's built his independent kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, but you see for someone like Hedy mm. they've used the label to kind yeah, of for like the advantage, yeah, yeah. for the advantage so do you think it's going to be an easier transition as if like compared to someone that hasn't got that to just start off independently I think it's going to be harder because in terms of the thing that even AJ is missing sometimes, yeah, is uh, exposure. So that a label can put you in another country quickly, but obviously... They've got the button, man. Exactly. The button. Independence is like, you've got a, it's the power of you. Do you know what I'm saying? So obviously now, Eddie's already had, for, for instance, like Eddie's like already had the worldwide exposure, but mm. now it's like, now you're, it's kind of like now you're on your own. Do you get me? So it's, it's a tough one still. It's a tough one. Still. What are ways around that independently? Is it like distributions? Yeah. Like what distribution, what yeah. is an actual distribution though? 
or like compared to like an admin deal? Like most of them, like, like we've got Warner Shuffle AD, you know, like they'll just like take a, they'll give you a, a fee up front and then they'll, they'll take a cut off whatever you make at the end and they'll just give you like services and like give you a links and everything. They'll make it look as professional as possible kind yeah. of thing. But with Heady though. That's a distribution. Yeah, like they'll just give you like an advance up front and then like they'll, they'll want to recoup and see your plan and yeah. everything. Like it's, it's, it's like a label, <coughs> but you've got more control and they take yeah. less cut in it. So what's an admin deal? So, Oh, admin is literally they just collect your royalties and stuff like. Yeah. What do they get out of that? Like ten percent, a percentage of your royalties, yeah, so like yeah. twenty percent or some shit. Shawnee does that a lot. Um, yeah. um, but I think the label come where the label comes in is like extra stuff like campaigns and like. No, but for Heady, he needs cl- sample clearances. Remember, some of his bigger oh, songs. Also that, yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. Oh yeah, so as an artist that's independent, then yeah. Do how do you, so how does sample clearances work? It's, it's, it's gonna be a headache for you. Yeah. You're gonna have to then contact the publisher and the person who actually owns the sample for more rights clearance because. Mm. Say you on the sample and I cleared it with you, I paid you 10 bucks to clear the sample. Say Nige actually played it in. He might say, I don't like your song and I'm more rights and it's not coming out, even yeah. though I've cleared it with you. Or they like, might say, I like it, but I want 95% of the publishing on a sting, and stuff like on a, on a yeah, sting, on a sting yeah. Thing, yeah. Thing, yeah. That's what Sting done to Juice World. Mad, isn't it? But, you know. Yeah, yeah you reckon, you see that Young Blue song, yeah? Yeah. Surely Sting must have violated it. Sounds the too. same, innit? It, it is the same. It's the same beat, innit? You know, I only put that yesterday, literally yesterday. Sting Surely he must have violated it. He must have. The Juice World one was massive news, though, but. But then it depends how they cleared it, because I think Juice World's one wasn't cleared. Yeah, it was a SoundCloud thing. Initially, yeah. And it blew. Yeah. Before they cleared it, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Sting sits back, he waits for it to get these, yeah, he chills and he just takes. But they probably cleared this one from early, yeah, they must have. They would have no, no, no. surely, they would have learned the hard yeah, because Bl- Young Blues one's an actual single, like with Drake, yeah, and they, they tried to do the to sample interplay it. thing when they changed a couple of notes. Mm. You know, it's just mm. nowadays it's just worth clearing it because it's just a headache, yeah, yeah. In America, though, the, all that, though, I mean, they'll, they'll sue you even <laughs> if it sounds a little bit the same. Yeah, remember, mm. Sting's getting money off Diddy for the rest of his life. Of Diddy, yeah, eh? for, yeah um, for for the <laughs> really for the, for the notorious Diddy, Diddy, apparently did he had to say to Sting, well, please can I use a sample? Yeah, because Biggie Sting it, he didn't say it. <laughs> now for the rest of his life, he takes peas every month. No way. Like, that's you reckon it, that song's still mashing peas? It will. It'll still make a change. Yeah, like, definitely make a Remember, change. Imagine funerals, making a song like that. It's a big tune. It's a big tune. People yeah, collect some of their things. Who was on the hook? Mary uh, Faith Evans. Faith Evans. Yeah. Oh yeah, because obviously it was her boyfriend. Yeah, it's a big tune. So I'm saying that. See, that's what I'm saying. Like with the independency, sample clearance comes the next thing. And producers use samples and whatnot, so it's like getting all that cleared. <coughs> There's a lot of admin to do and chase around, so your manager's got what ten times as hard now. It's true. Yeah, it just comes with more work, I guess. But I suppose obviously at his at someone like him, his level, he already have a team and infrastructure around him where, you know, it makes <coughs> it makes sense for you to go independent. You get me? Mm. So you're not just jumping in blind. So would you say, like? Like I was even um I think I read something or I was having a conversation with someone and they were talking about if Ed Sheeran goes independent, l- some labels are like he he's keeping the lights on in bare places. Yeah, I couldn't like. believe it. It's the same with Drake. And like, Drake, if Drake goes independent, I can believe holy it. Holy yeah, moly! They were trying to say like, this is Drake's last project or whatever. Some or oh, more left, but yeah. they needed to stay. What That's would you like. offer Drake as a label? Just, just give him the American Express black card and just say, hey, this is it. <laughs> Have fun, bro. Yeah, there's <laughs> no <laughs> limit to what you can spend. <laughs> Literally, the lights, electricity, everything's on. For Cause him. you see someone like him, yeah, they're gonna make the money back eventually. Yeah. Even if you spend a hundred mil, you're gonna yeah. get it back. Even if it takes 10, 20 years, you're gonna get it back. So, you know. Drake goes independent. Yeah. It's done. Labels yeah. get shut down. It's true. It's true. They're gonna go as bankrupt. It's true. I think that could be. Do you reckon that could be a good? Fi- not a good thing. Obviously, it's not a good thing. Cause realistically, people are gonna lose their jobs and shit. Yeah. But I mean, like, would it be a good thing for the industry, for labels to kind of like mm, possibly you know it is i think we need to reset because like the streams are getting paid so low now and like before like 100 million streams will get you like a platinum song now now it's, it's, it's pushing up to like 120 130 like they keep lowering what we're getting paid for streams now mm. and we kind of need to reset to get it to a good place again because mm. it's like for the music we make at the moment like we've got to stream so much numbers to be in the top 40 whereas others are just doing 99p singles and coming in with like there was a band that went number one two weeks ago I've never heard of them before, mm. but they came in with three three thousand and pre-orders. I'm like, right, where where have you Madness, come from? Yeah. I looked at their monthly listeners. They're on four hundred k monthly listeners. I'm thinking, so you're not even streaming well, but you're just selling well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah do you know why? No, that's a that's a proper non band though. It weren't Led Zeppelin. Um, something fierce or whatever they call it. Whatever. They went number one like two weeks um, ago. Yeah, but they're flipping. They're like an old band. No, not Iron Maiden. Oh, it's not Iron Maiden. No, no, oh, because Iron Maiden, they come from like cells anyway. Like their yeah, fans yeah, are like yeah, cells. Yeah, yeah. They're not streaming people. <laughs> Bro, they're older than me, so they're old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they're really old. But yeah, you knew you'd laugh at that one. Um, there's a band called The, the Fear. When they came out, you were about what, 15 or something? 
Um, about five, probably. <laughs> maybe four. <laughs> so that would make you ten. So. <laughs> Twelve. But either way, yeah, so... Yeah, it's it's it's. it's a, I think we need to reset the things because it's, it's getting a bit mad. Yeah, no, it is a bit. Um, as a producer, I don't really feel it though. Yeah, if that makes sense, like yeah. I, I think more for artists, they probably feel it. Like, well, happy PRS day, bro. Happy yeah, PRS yeah, happy PRS day. Yeah, chin chin. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what my PRS is. Must be nice. Yeah, it must be nice. Mine was alright still. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Told you. Yeah, I don't know. I'll I know yours was alright. I got some comments. <laughs> It's a good day. It's a good day. Well, he's it. Oh yeah, you that's, just that's had a whole a new, album, that's a new jacket. That's a new jacket. Huh? That's a new jacket. Nah, actually, it's an old jacket. Yeah, right. What do we get paid for Christmas as well? Nah, Christmas we're gonna get tea in Christmas as usual. Get the and then I swear there's one in Jan as well, low key. Because there's a something in Jan. Like mm, I think Christmas. Fighting. Christmas we should get um, two PRS ones and a PPR one. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Christmas. <laughs> Look at these guys smiling. <laughs> yeah, Christmas. You're not going to come out in the new range. Bust down, Tatiana. No, do you know what's mad? I'm actually trying to save money. Now. I've spent a lot of money in the last year, you know. Mm. Yeah, this summer was expensive. I spent a lot of money last year. Expensive. I'm not going to say how much, but I spent a lot. Nice frames. So this, yeah. um, yeah. So you got that new Montclair from Paris as well. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't pay tax on it's that. Cartier frames on the turtleneck. Yeah. It's not a turtleneck. And some new new trainers as well. Still, I've had these for a while, you yeah, know. That's a lie, that's Do you know what it is? I actually bought trainers. Yeah, there was a time yeah, like last year yeah, where I bought not last year. It was like this. Yeah, last year, last year, I bought bare ones and I was just gonna hold them there because they go up in value in it. And then I was like, let me just buy these. They're like the Joker ones, whatever. And I thought, I've n- I've never I'm never gonna wear them. I don't have nothing green. Mm. And then my brother, you know, she got this brand Santo Amo and that quick plug. And it was like the only green thing that can go with this. I thought, let me just rock it today. Yeah, on your team. Must be nice. Looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, man. I'm seeing Converse. One, see, I'm out in my beat up easy. Got the Mac 500s on. I see Nikes. you shining. My man got the pedophile 500s on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone's got a shot of cane. <laughs> Yay. Look at them, cuz. Yay. Beat 500s. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, all right, cool. So as an ind like, all right, so you see for all right, independent artists and that, yeah. So I'd say for people like the Hunchos, the Headies, people that have got core fan bases, I think they will cut through, man. Mm. Yeah, I think they can cut through. But you see, for like someone that's coming into the game and that, I don't know if independent route is the one, man. But then it can it could be. be the one. It could be the one. But I'm saying like you've got a better chance of taking it as far as you can through a label first i don't think so because I sp- especially if you're like a new artist yeah like you seen that flip for instance you see that that nipper guy you seen him mm. no. basically he's doing r&b yeah but he's from england yeah is he good yeah good still good 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 mm. but what's his name nipper yeah i would say for someone like him you gotta look at if i'm going to a label yeah you gotta look what can you do for me though you can you can promote me but like you don't know what this is you see what I'm saying? You like obviously you don't army like fucking twenty years ago, yeah. But like now, I'm a I'm actually a new thing. If you know what I'm saying? Like how would you market me? How can you market me better than I can market myself? You mm. know what I'm saying? You don't even understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah, you're just gonna put your little take on it, etc. So that's what I would think personally. I'd let it ride out for as long as possible, and then maybe if it makes sense to go to a label after. But I don't think people should jump into deals. Because some people are signing deals off of one single and then they're wondering yeah. why it goes wrong. That's what, what I'm I was going to say as well. Do you think um, at this point, yeah, because of the way the, the scene is, yeah, it's better to just go down the singles kind of route. Like, so sign your singles instead of like signing like three, four album deals. I think that kind of thing is kind of done now, isn't it? Depends on your... Um, yeah, it depends what you're in for. Like, yeah, some people are in it for the money. Like yeah. someone like Tion, mm. si- single deals is perfect for him. Yeah, but now though, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, he's been yeah. he's been doing this for ten years, bro. You get me? Yeah. You gotta think. So it depends depends on your idiot. Some people's in it for money. Some people's in it for a career. Like if I think if you're in it for a long term career, you just should think long term. Because you gotta think if you get a certain bag yeah, up yes, front. At the same time, yeah. If someone's saying to you, look, there's one two million on the table for you. Are you really gonna turn it down? Like, like it, that's what I'm saying. It depends on your. your what, where, it dep- do you know what it is? It depends how you value yourself, innit? Like look at Fredo. Fredo got out of his deal quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man dropped two, three albums in a year and said, yeah, yeah. go on, bang, bang. So it's like, really and truly, he's smiling, really. He probably got a, le- a good change. Mm. Now he's out. But then it's but like... Then he doesn't own those songs, though, ever. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You know, I think some people... The, the way music's been recycled and it's so microwave right now, it's just like, people are just delivering to get the money and get the bag and get out. Yeah. And now maybe he's going to go independent and try and put the effort in and whatnot. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends, depends what you're in it for, innit? Yeah, but like a video nowadays costs like a proper video is like 40, 60k. Yeah, at least, yeah. So with independent artists, are you really ready to do that? Because you're going to have to start saying to the director, yo, cut this, cut that, <laughs> cut that, cut that, cut that, let's get that for 20k. Let's have one, one room. Yeah, because remember, <laughs> I shot the videos late, like four hours late. So mm. it's going to change the game if you go independent. You can't be doing all that. I hate, the time. I hate. What about for producers? Do you reckon signing publishing deals is worth it? Yeah, do you know what it is? I think... That yeah. gives you your, your comfortability, man. Your buy a house or get get yourself set. Production fees is cool. I yeah, like I think I think yeah, it makes more sense as a producer because it's, it's so inconsistent, isn't it? Yeah. Like you might you might have you might make ten songs you think it's gonna come out, you might get one if you're lucky, isn't it? And then if we, most producers don't do shows or DJing as well, so it's tough still because there's only like really one stream of income. Publishing sometimes makes sense as a producer just so you can. Not have to. I see a lot of um. I see a lot of producers that I know personally as well that we all know, and like I'm not gonna lie, nine out of ten producers that I speak to are just not happy in their deals. Mm. So it's kind of like, what's man signing for? Mm. Like, is man signing just for the money, or is man signing for a bigger thing? But well like, that's when you I do sign your deal, you just figure out like, right, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. Mm. See, that's it. It's all smoke and mirrors. That's why it's like. Sometimes you have to choose your label wisely because if you go to a label with like 10 million producers, you're just in the crabs in the bucket vibe again. So you've got to kind of, I went to a smaller label underneath a major where there's already five producers, but it's only coming to five of us. Mm. Like, and if, if someone's good at rock, he's going to get the rock thing straight away. Yeah. Kind of thing. So <coughs> you kind of got to do your research on your label because the money might be sick, yeah? But if you can't make it back, then you're fucked. Yeah. Well, as a publisher? Yeah, because remember, it's like, Say you sign a deal for three years. Publish yeah? is just a load, isn't it? Yeah, and you get like, say you get 200 bags, cool, three year deal, bang. In your third year now, you haven't made that 200 bags back. They're going to now gonna extend the option period. Which is another year. Yeah, so if you spend the 200 bags, you're now working for a whole year for free. Mm. So you do that. Yeah, but then what happens after that year? After that year, they, they, they can release you and say, cool, you didn't make it back, but it's going to be known on your CV that, yo, you signed up for 200 bags, didn't make it back. And when you think about it, yeah, 200 bags is a lot of money, yeah? Don't get twisted, but. It's, after, it's, it's easy, after, it's can't, you can make it though. After, um, for instance, tax and managers, yeah, you're looking at a, a normal salary yeah. when you think of it. You're probably yeah. like, what, over three years, yeah, yeah, five a year, really, really and truly, innit? If you, if you break it down, yeah. that's like a, it's a lot of work for like, it's it is. Like a, I'm not gonna lie, I signed salary, my deal last year, yeah, <coughs> but I'm not counting this year, but I'll be here because mm. it's nice. COVID. Yeah, but we're not counting it, but the business side yeah, of it yeah, are counting it. So that's they why it's taking Yeah, still. I hear you, but I'm not I'm counting it. I'm, I'm actually out of my deal now. So it's yeah. like, Cause in February, I go again. Do you know what it is as well? Yeah, it's like, since I've signed my deal, yeah, I haven't really done anything. Like, I've done bare, but like, I've done it you've off. Done bare, bro. You've done about four yeah, or five tapes. Still, yeah, yeah, no, I've done bare, but I mean like, I've done bare off my own back. It hasn't been anything through the label. Yeah, I think that's what they don't tell you. You see, the publishing, they don't really, they're not here to help you like that. Yeah, they're here to just collect your peers. I'll be honest, Realistically, yeah. innit? Realistically, yeah. But my A&R, yeah, Molly, she actually does try and get me in with, like, writers and stuff like that, in it. Mm. But just timing's a bit weird sometimes. But I feel like it's one of them things where when I signed my deal, we all just had an understanding that, like, man wants to be bigger than what man is. Yeah. And in order for man to do that, I need to go to, like, France. I need to go to America. I need to go... But COVID's just fucked it. Like, yeah. I've not been able to do nothing, bro. Like, mm. everything that I'm doing... Po like post my deal is what I've been doing before my deal yeah because yeah. I already have the relationships with everyone here so my label they were kind of like for me it wasn't even about the money bro because if it was about the money I could have actually went to a bigger label I, I signed to Cobalt which is like they're smaller but they're like they can they got their they do their thing in it yeah. and they actually cater more to like a man than another label within <coughs> it but flipping um I lost my track of thought what was I saying Labels, budget, money. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't about the money. Like, I actually signed my deal because I wanted to, like, I wanted to take it somewhere that somewhat, like, in trap, it hasn't been done before, in it kind of thing. And I was just like, cool, these are the people that sound like they're, they're kind of on the same page as me and they can take me to. But then I've looked back at, like, I've signed in August in it last year. We've just gone past August and I look back, like, raw, man's actually not really done anything different to what I was doing before. And it made me bare think, like, bro, was it even worth signing the deal? Like, even without the money and that, yeah? But then, I don't know. I think I just need to get out of this country, fam. Mm. I think as well, because we're all connected, we all have, we have relations with artists, 
mm. all the time we just do it ourselves. Like we just see them and just out, yo, let's, let's get in, let's do something. Yeah. And that's normally your publisher's job to try and kill anything from afar. Like my publisher hit me up, oh, just from the thing, I'll like, chat to them, that's my regimen, I'll ring them now. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. That's really their job to connect the connections, but because we're already personal, it's like... You know, yeah. So what do you expect? Me. What do you expect out of a publishing deal as a producer? At the moment, what I, what I expect is like sessions with artists that I can't get reached to or um, try and get me the syncs, like the FIFAs and all that stuff, TV film, all that stuff, and then just collect. Are you down to do like sessions with writers and stuff? Yeah, I work with bear writers because it's like, I've got a lot of songs coming out in the next couple of months that have come, come from me just doing bear sessions with writers. And I just pitched out the song. So I'm like, yeah, I like that hook. I'm going to change it a little bit. Bang, bang, bang. It's about the business. Everyone gets to it. You see, when you have sessions with writers, yeah, is it like having a session with an artist? But they're just a writer. And they take... Like, what do writers do? So basically, you go in, you have a session with them. Mm. You make a song with them. And then they basically play that to other people. When so they have uh, sessions with other artists. I kind of got a lot of writers I work with all the time. So I work with, like, <coughs> Sean and, and Nia a lot. So Sean Wonder. Yeah, Sean Wonder and Nia. So we did... um Nia, uh, Nia follow on Insta. Yeah, yeah so... Like the T.Y. Savage one I did with Note, she wrote, th- those two wrote the hook together. And then we had a couple of bits coming out that they wrote the hooks on. So it's like. No, but how did that happen? So did you have the session with Nia and she took it to T.Y. Savage? Nah, like when the hook was, when Sean and Nia wrote the hook, I knew it was, I only, I only could hear on it. I was like, we've got to get it to figure out to get to her. So DMs, hit up notes as well. And then we got it to her like directly. And then we did another one, which I can't talk about because it's out next week. Um, and I was like, this this fits this female artist. We have to get it to her. Like, because it's. So it's a DM process, scene studio mob, but I think when I'm working with the writers, it's, it's all we ever do is write a verse and a hook and leave space for artists then to do a second verse or whatever. But it's kind of more of a natural process kind of thing. Have yeah. you worked with writers? Yeah, a couple, but I find working with writers is uh I'm not very I'm not a very musical person, if you know what I'm saying. So I feel like or suits like around you more for instance. I can't Someone that plays keys uh, and yeah, shit. I can't really play instruments and stuff. But yeah, I neither find can if I, I do work with a writer it's better to have the artist in the session as well. So a writer and an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I agree with you. Over here, a lot of artists are not really on it. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They feel like they can write their own songs. Yeah, I agree with you. Saying. Like, I get, I get. I'm um, sent like offers to like my ear Nana. She je- she gets me to um. She's like, oh, we've got a writer and that. And like, I'm on it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm on it. Yeah. It's just time has been a bit mad because I'm working on a hundred project and whatnot. But like, a part of me is like. I don't know, man. Like, you can only take it so far. Do you get me personally? That's what I'm saying. I feel like yeah, like because I don't play <coughs> keys. I'm I'm learning to play keys and stuff here. Yeah. But I'm not bare musical like a J Five and that. I'm more of a I'm a trap producer, bro. So I mm. I can click and I can make things happen in it. But like the whole writing thing, I see, I feel like it just it's bare. I think it's genre specific. Yeah, too. like genre specific. Some of these writers can literally write to a loop and then like I'm more time. I make bare beats just bouncing off with them. Like, mm. I'm like okay, cool. What you're doing is I'm hearing a melody from you. I might have used that in the song or whatever. Mm. So it's like it's the bouncing thing kind of works. So I think just it's finding a couple of people that you work well with. That's just the main thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I even see Ghosty is in with, with, with Wonder. So it's techie. Yeah. yeah. But um, I don't know. I think something to try, man. Yeah. Some yeah, I'm definitely gonna is. try it out. And I'm one of them people. Yeah, like I'm one of them people in um at studio. That's kind of like. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. I don't. I'm not really bothered about it. Like I don't go into a studio session like nervous and that. Yeah. Like I'm just on vibes. Mm. If it if it works out, it works out. Thank God, so far it's always worked out. But like if it don't work out, no, actually, it's not always worked out. I've had session with Tion and man's had no songs come out of it. Yeah. Mm. Like literally, bro. <coughs> yeah. But I think you guys, the PPOs, missing out on. Yeah. Because if you just play little keys on your song, you're performing on the song, and that's you for next for next check for next bag. I'm gonna start DJing though. I'm on a Nige thing. Yeah, man. I'm gonna start DJing. Shout out Renz. He's gonna show me the the ropes and that main stage Nige, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new one. I'm Make gonna sure start DJing. Mm. Yeah. I'm the DJing it. thing's mad, but yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it's a deep convo still. We can talk for bare long, but we ain't got time. Mm. But um. Yeah. Next week we saying guest. Yeah, we're gonna get a guest. Yeah. Get yeah. yeah. I get a big guest. Cool. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Yo, this has been a, an episode of Two and Q. This is our new home, so yes. get Apologies used to this. For the, you get me yeah, get, the get used to this background and that car. Mm. This is going to yeah, be man. us from now on. Exactly. But yeah, cool. Two and Q. Fabulous. Boom. Two and Q. Two and Q.